Hello guys and welcome to another Profile Tree video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best free graphic design software. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. So you may be wanting to start graphic design, but you're trying to do it on a budget. So you're going to go for the free software. Of course, there's plenty of options online and there's a lot to choose from, which can get a little bit overwhelming. So luckily, the ones that I'm going to show you are cost free. It's not going to cost you anything. You may have to go for the trial version. However, we're going to go ahead and jump into it and take a look at some of the best free graphic design software. So our first choice here is Canva. Now, I would say Canva is a very, very good platform for a beginner. More so the fact that it is free. So there's a couple of templates that you can choose from. I will say that this would be a popular option for non-designers as a last resort, just because it works well with graphics and you're working with simple graphics. But I would say, as I said, this is the best graphic design software you can use by far. So to get started, all you need to do is sign in. So I already have an account so saying welcome back for me. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and I'll see you inside the Canva. So this does have a trial. Um, you could do it within seven days within signing up. So if you do decide that you want to use some of the premium features, you can go ahead and do so. They do have their pricing plans as shown. You'll see it on the very top, just beside education and beside learn as well. So what exactly the, does Canva have to offer? Now it does have quite a bit of features as you can see. So you're able to create a document. You can create something on whiteboard. You can have even a presentation as well. Uh, you've got Instagram posts, uh, po posters. Uh, you can even create your resume here. So quite a couple of things that you can work with when you're doing your graphic design. So this one was a little custom one uh, that I made earlier on. So I've named it profile treats. So there's a couple of ones that you could modify there. You can change the text. Uh, you can have it so it has animation, as you could see. So depending if you're having this online or if you're having this as a graphic print, you could go ahead and do that. There's a couple of effects as well. Uh, you can change up the outline of the text. Uh, there's a few other elements that you can add in as well. So you can add arrows. Uh, as you could see, if you would like to add a couple of the premium stuffs. So if I did drag, say this little guy into here, it will have a watermark, which will say Canva, but you do get the options of ones that have no watermark on it. So say for this one, this one's got happy, happy Valentine's day, but it doesn't have a watermark. So that's free to use. Now, if you are a little bit creative and you can create a logo or any sort of design by scratch or if you're creating a say you're creating a brochure for maybe a company that you have or a business idea that you, you may have then you can go ahead and create it on here so uh, quite a couple of options uh it doesn't have to be paid for uh of course you do have that option as i said to pay for a premium version so you can unlock a couple of the elements another cool thing about this is that you can actually go ahead and draw so if I go ahead and demonstrate, so my artistic skills isn't the best. So if I wanted to create like an S or uh, type in profile tree, so I'm, I'm making a, a bit of a hash on it, but you sort of get the idea on how to draw on it. So it's not, it's not impossible. It is doable, but it's a little bit harder for me since I am using a mouse. So if you say you had a uh, iPad of some sort, you can maybe uh, custom make something on the Canva itself. So quite a couple of options to do there. Now, if you may have made a mistake uh, on the top left, you've got the undo button there. You can also click uh, shortcut, uh, which is the control Z. So that'll get rid of everything. You've got your pointer there. You've got an eraser. So other options. 
as well as this if you have any other projects. So there's a couple of uh, ones that I've created as well, which is a presentation. Um, I can have them added into the logo if I wanted to, combine all of the designs that I have within other projects. I can reuse them as well if I want to. But yes, that is pretty much Canva. Uh, there's much more to explore on it. So we're at the home section, so you can sort of gain an idea on what it'll look like. So as I said, there's doc, whiteboard, you've got presentation, you've got the logo, you've got the Facebook posts, uh, you've got even the videos, you've got Facebook cover, Instagram post, posters, uh, A4 documents. So these would be great for any sort of business idea that you have. And it's a great base to start off with if you are a beginner and you're looking to go into a little bit of the graphic design. So our next one here is called Visme. Now, I would say that this is another popular graphic design tool that you could use online. Um, I would say that this is mainly used as well for slideshows. You could use storyboards as well, uh, add to social media, uh, where you can have some advertisements if you want to. And of course, you can create a lot of different graphic design work using the other features that they have with color palettes. Uh, you can add images, you can have videos as well. So quite a selection of assets to use on Visme. So of course, if you guys already have an account, go ahead and jump into it. And if you don't, you can sign up using your email and password as normal, uh, or you can go ahead and sign in with Facebook. So you do get this little pop-up option, just asking what exactly you're gonna use Visme for. So we're more looking to use it for personal since we're just wanting to design something within our own use, some content that we may want to have and test out for graphic design. Of course, if you do want to make a logo or presentations or anything like that, you can't use it as a small business, medium business or an enterprise. It's not stopping you. It's not uh, a small sort of selection. It's only for uh, that certain group. No, you've got a bunch of options there. It's available for anyone to use. You've also got the education there and nonprofit. So we're going to go ahead and click on personal. So perfect, it, it'll just bring you in. Uh, it'll just show you some of the different stuffs that they have. There's a couple of, uh, well, there's a little uh, animation on what you can create with it. So there's the R plan. So you can see how customizable Visme is. So to create a new project, all you need to do is create new project. And you've got a couple of options there, which is presentations, infographics, documents, charts, printables, web graphics, uh, social media, and pretty much more. So if, if you want to click on more, you've got all sorts of uh, other things there. I'm going to go ahead and maybe select one for web graphics. So technically, you would need a, say, a premium plan with it. But you do get a couple of options without the premium plan. So there's a couple of templates you can maybe use. Um, now these are all customizable, as I've said, so you can go ahead and edit the template that they have provided, or you can choose to go for a blank template and get creative with it. So quite the options there. Um, if you do scroll down, you'll get a couple more options. Uh, you do have stuff for wallpaper, phone wallpapers, uh, blog graphics, uh, wide skyscraper. So there's a cool one, which is phone wallpaper. So if you want to maybe mess about with it and download it and have it for your actual phone wallpaper, you can go ahead and do so. You've got options there for white skyscraper. You've got rect large rectangle, medium rectangle, leaderboard, an email header, website headers, emails. So a few options there as well for web graphics. Now, if you are maybe wanting to change it up a bit and you're wanting to add some graphic design towards maybe presentations, you can go ahead and do so. You've got documents as well. You've even got a whiteboard, which is at the beta mode at the minute. You've got charts and graphs, infographics, as I mentioned earlier on, social media as well. You can do videos and GIFs, or you can create a custom size. Anyway, we'll go ahead and hop into one. Uh, let's just say we select a blank template for one. I'm going to go ahead and select this one. So here we are, um, we basically get a little guide on some of the shortcuts that we, we can do. And 
it gives you that little tutorial base, which is great. Th this is great, uh, really good for the beginners. Uh, so it says type in what you want to add to your design. So say I did want uh, a circle. I can go ahead and add a circle into this. So just click on that and there you go. It gives me a little circle and I can expand it if I want to. I can make it more into an oval rather than a circle. So I can uh, bring that back. So a couple of shortcut keys that you can use, which is Control Z or Control V, uh, Control C, copy paste. Or if you want to, you can go ahead and use the undo and redo buttons on the top. So there's a couple of things there. Uh, you've got your basics, and this would mainly be your blocks, so elements, uh, you've got your header and text, font pairs, you've got stats and figures, graphics text, you can even create some diagrams on here, so if you, you are wanting to maybe do a showcase or presentation, there's a couple of great little tools that you can use here. You've got some data, you've got, you can add some photo, you can add some media as well into it. So you can embed videos, you can uh, add some of the videos that they have on here. So these are all just stock videos. Uh, you can add your own videos if you want as well. So you can go ahead and upload them from Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive. Uh, you can embed them in from YouTube. So these will mainly be like YouTube links. So if I wanted to have a profile tree tutorial video on this, I can go ahead and have that there. Uh, and then I can add some graphics onto it if I wanted to. So there is quite a few options to use on Visme. So it's more, more or less the same like Canva, but I would say that this is a lot easier to use and it's not as overwhelming since you have everything that you need in front of you. So we're on to our final graphics editor, which is the vector. Now, Vector is another great platform that you can use. It's a free design software. It allows you to create different projects. You can do some collaborative work as well. Uh, you could do t-shirt prints to even full-fledged graphics for websites. So it gives you a little bit of a, a idea on what you can create on the Vector's graphics editor. Now, I know I haven't mentioned Adobe at all, but I would say that this is one of the best Adobe Illustrator alternatives that you can use. So we're gonna go ahead and hop into it and take a look at what it has to offer. So you don't really need to sign up or do any of the logins. All you need to do is click on the use online. So everything's all gonna be here for you. So you can open a new artwork, you can open file, a load URL or history. Um, so say I had one here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I've got a couple of options there, which is text. You've got pages, uh, layers as well. You can check out your layers. So these are some of the shapes that you can use. So it's pretty much a drag and drop editor. You've got the pen tool as well. So depending how you want to lay out your items, you can go ahead and go a little bit crazy on it. So it's pretty much a dot to dot. So like that. Uh, you can have some text on there. So if I wanted to add profile treats, like so I can go ahead and have profile treats. You get a little editor here on the right side to decide whether you want to use the Open Sans uh, text. You can have it as bold as you want. You can have it regular, you can have it light. Uh, you can have a fill color, you can have border. Um, you can make it so that it's a little bit transparent. So that's your opacity. You've got your dimensions there. Uh, of course, anything that I have created, say I'm not satisfied with what I've created here, I can go ahead and click undo on everything here. So it's another great little tool that you can use online. You can upload images that you want as well. Um, so a couple of different options there. So if I go home again, um, I can load a URL or I can create new artwork. So there's, it's just a very, very basic, but simple, and it's straightforward uh, graphic design editor. So guys, that pretty much reaches the end of the video. So those were the best free graphic design software that I would recommend. Now, of course, you don't need to listen to what I've showed you. If you did find something better, go ahead and go for it. These were just a couple of examples that I think were the best free graphic design software that you can use by far online. But if you did find something better, 
why not leave it in the comment section below for others to see and give us your thoughts on the ones that you found. But as I said, that is the video and I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you very much for watching.